Uh, uh, uh. Don't turn that dial. This is the right station if you want to hear about Jonathan Thomas and his Christmas on the moon. Poor old Santa Claus made a mistake. He's feeling so sad for the children's sake. He let some sweet guabiums in one night, and they captured him after a terrible fight. And now he's a prisoner in Squeeboblium land. They've tied him so tight, he can't move a hand. But don't you worry, because you've heard, of course, that the man in the moon and Gorgonzola, the horse, and Jonathan Thomas, who are all brave and strong, have promised to find him before very long. They've traveled quite far on this dangerous road, past the dragon's cave and the home of the toad. And they've had much trouble with the wicked old witch who rules o'er the land of Rumpelstitch. But you needn't worry, for they're doing well. They escaped her magic and terrible spell. For they've made a true friend of the good fairy queen. And she always has spoiled the old witch's scheme. But once, in the nightmare forest so deep, the witch put Jonathan Thomas asleep. But the good fairy queen woke him up with a charm. And she's doing her best to keep them from harm. And they met a lion one day on the path who roared quite loud to show them his wrath. For he said it's all wrong and a crying shame to be told I'm lion. I demand a new name. So... They named him Ojigrath, and he thought it was fine. And to show he was pleased, he asked them to dine. Then he gave them a gift. It was a box full of growls to frighten the witch and make her howl. So they thanked him kindly, and on they rode till they met the elf king who lived by the road. And they were just in time, for the wicked old witch flew up on her broom from Rumpelstitch. She said she had come for the little elf king, and she threatened them all with terrible things. But they opened the box and let out a growl, and the witch flew away with a terrible howl. And then the little elf king, he gave them a key, and said it's a gift to you for me, to open the way through the doors and the wall. Just be careful which one you open, that's all. They tried to be careful, but the wall was long, and the door that they entered was found to be wrong. Wherever they looked, they saw mirrors so grand, and what do you think? It was looking glass land. chains and open the gate, and I'll have your head if you're one minute late. Yes, sir, at once, your majesty. I'll unlock the gate with this golden key. Yeah. Very good, my loyal guard. <laughs> Do you suppose I should walk in without sending a card? <laughs> I'm such a funny man. <laughs> And you'd better laugh as hard as you can. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Of course. Uh, I'll do my best, as I always do when you give me the test. <laughs> uh, louder and louder. Uh, I'm sure you're much stronger. Uh, uh, very good. That's as you should. Now stand by the door and guard it well while I explain the laws to Mr. Santa Claus. <laughs> I've so very much to tell. Yes, sir. Well, Mr. Claus, how do you do? I'm very, very glad to see you. And I can tell that you're looking well. And by my hat, you're waxing fat. <laughs> like as I've always said, no food is as good as water in bread. <laughs> well, speak up. Have your say. I can't stay around here all day. Please, Mr. King. I'll give you anything if you will just let me go. Diamonds and rubies and gold galore. But please, King Squibble, please don't say no. Ha! And ho! Oh, surely, good king, you must have a heart. And you know how well I must play my part. Oh, why do you treat me this way? For there'll be no toys for the girls and boys when the sun comes up on Christmas Day. It's not for myself that I plead and beg, but for little Johnny Smith with the broken leg. Don't you see? He'll be without cheer, as no one should be at this time of the year. And there's little Mary King. She didn't ask for anything. As a matter of fact, this is all she said. Please bring me a dolly and a loaf of bread. The answer is nay. 
And here's where you'll stay for a long, long time after Christmas Day. For I say that this year will be without cheer. There's too much cheer in the world anyway. Everyone should be sad, not merry and glad. That's what I say. Very well, Mr. King, but I'm warning you. I'll escape from here. That's what I'll do. <laughs> you can't do that. You're as safe in this jail as a rat in a trap. The only thing that I can say is that for this, you'll have to pay. And I'll be out before Christmas Day. <laughs> yes. And I'll pack my toys in my sleigh. And then through the ice and snow I'll go. On, Gunner and Blitzen, to the world below. <laughs> and never you fear. There'll be plenty of cheer again this year. For Sally a doll, for Bobby a train. I'll show the world how to laugh again. Around the earth will I drive my steed to fill every heart with my kindly deeds. And I'll bring food for the poor and toys for the good. And we'll laugh and be happy as everyone should. That's a very fine speech. But I know how to teach these people that spread such cheer. I'll create a gloom much worse than doom. There'll be no Christmas this year. So be hearty and hail as you stay here in jail and think of the things you do. <laughs> How you'd ride your sleigh on Christmas Day if you are not put in here to stay. <laughs> uh, but now I bid you adieu <laughs> and say be of good cheer as long as you're here. For there won't be any Christmas this year. <laughs> there won't be any Christmas this year. <laughs> It's plain to see you don't know me. Somehow I'll find a way. This place I'll leave before Christmas Eve. <laughs> I'll be there on Christmas Day. Just you wait and see, Mr. King. Just you wait and see. Oh, come all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Oh, come ye Poor old Santa. It's very sad how old King Squee Beeble treats him so bad. But he'll escape, and that's my promise, as he'll be rescued by Jonathan Thomas. So now to the palace of good Queen Alice, and we'll be there quicker than soon to see what's happening to Jonathan Thomas and the kind old man in the moon. Now, here's the thing, my little man, so listen with both ears as best you can. Yes, ma'am, your majesty, if you please. I remembered that Santa Claus was taken away. <laughs> In fact, I remembered it only today. But now there's nothing that we lack. For now we know how to get him back. Oh, that's very nice. But we have to rescue him or there won't be any Christmas this year. This is a whistle to take when you go. And when you want magic, you just have to blow. Then, quick as a wink, you'll start him to grow. Did you say grow, your majesty? Yes, I did. And you'll grow so high, you'll grow right up into the sky until you're bigger than anyone. Oh, but I... But wait, uh, wait, wait until I'm done. When you reach Squeebobba land, you'll see lots of soldiers on every hand. For Mr. Squeebeeble, the very bad king, who, just to be mean, will do any old thing, has told all his people that you're very wrong and to catch you quickly when you come along. Oh! So that's the reason I'm telling to you the things that you will have to do. Because, oh, you simply must rescue poor Mr. Santa Claus. For more than ever before... This year, we need just oodles and oodles of Christmas cheer. Yes, ma'am. Now, here's the plan, my good little man, as I said just a moment before. So you'll keep in your head the things that I've said, and I'll say them again once more. Yes, ma'am, if you please. This is the whistle that you must blow when it comes time for you to grow. Blow it just once, and then hang on, and in a trice, the sweet bubble will be gone. You will frighten them so when you start to grow that that will be fine because oh, you will have no trouble at all at all in rescuing poor old Santa Claus. Does it hurt very much to grow, Your Majesty? Oh, not very much. That is, in the main. But you shouldn't mind a growing pain. For gracious goodness, Jonathan Thomas, we'd better hurry or we'll never arrive at the land of Squee Bobble. Look, Mr. Man in the Moon... 
Her Majesty, Queen Alice, gave me a magic whistle so that I can grow tall and fight Nesky Bubbles so they won't know what to do. That's wonderful, Jonathan Thomas. <laughs> we are mighty grateful to you, Queen Alice. Yes, sir. How does the whistle work? Her Majesty said that I just have to blow it like this. And then... Oh, my goodness. I feel funny. Jiminy crickets, you're starting to grow. But I... I don't want to grow now. Yet. Gracious sakes. Look at me, everybody. I'm getting bigger and bigger. And I'm going up in the air. There's no need for alarm. He's under a charm. I'm getting bigger than a building. Even than a mountain. Gracious sakes to Jiminy Crickets and Flub Duds. Get him, stop your majesty. He's turning into a giant. Stop him before he gets clear up in the clouds. Oh, my goodness gracious. Stop! Well, that really is a magic whistle, isn't it? And it must be wonderful to be able to grow like that without having to eat spinach or even anything. But what do you suppose will happen next? Do you think he'll be able to ungrow? I mean, become shorter again? Well, we'll find that out in the next story of Jonathan Thomas and his Christmas on the Moon. Don't forget to listen, will you? <laughs> 